Yeah, let's go with that. Yo, Elvin. What's up, Elvin? What are you doing? Making music. Did you hear about the update? You know, about uh, Personas, that uh, update with the keyboard thingy? Yeah, the yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. integration yeah. thing, yeah. Wow, wow, what's up? Okay, you should make your video about that. Hmm, interesting. Whoa, oh, oh, whoa! Really? <laughs> Sorry, man, I always wanted to do that. What's up, Creative Faces? Ella from Creative Sound. Yes, indeed. Personas has given us this update that we've been fighting for. Man, this is a day I have never thought that I would see. This has been a long fight. You guys, I know you guys remember those videos I, I posted. And, and, and it seemed like when I post those videos, I'm gonna be honest, it seemed like we was being ignored. I'm not saying that everything we complain about should be listened to because if Native Instruments or Personas or whatever company, if they put in everything that people request for, this would be a massive disaster. We'll be looking like, what is going on? Like, why is all this stuff in here? You know what I mean? Like, I know a lot of times when people request for things, it, it be something that the doll already can do or it may be like a couple of steps to get the results you're looking for but it doesn't necessarily need to be in the doll like the people are getting lazy these days you know what i'm saying but integration is very important hello i've just been informed that if you wish to look fly like ella and myself then you should click your way to creative.com on this website is remarkable designs t-shirts jackets hats hoodies sweatpants and more to come we also have courses if you're looking to advance in your musical endeavors once you visit our website it's pretty awesome but once you make a buy it's remarkable it supports the channel and me please don't tell el if i said that but he has not paid me yet so buy buy away Let's continue this journey in creating a movement of creatives around the world that can create with their inner creative juices. Musicians, music producers, beat makers, singers, club promoters, whomever you are in this industry. Join me while we expand. As Ellip always says, stay creative without rules. But I have another saying. May the creative forces be with you. I made it up myself. Some people may think I'm Ella, but I'm really not Ella. He doesn't look anything like me. This commercial is now over. Back to the video. I always thought it was pretty interesting how once I start talking about like, what, what, like why do we don't have this, this tech, new technology with us Studio One users, right? And, and then they uh, released the Atom Pad as a solution to the problem. And I'm like, no, that's not what we asking for. Although this thing is pretty nice for some of you guys that, that you know, you're not a native instruments person. You are strictly studio one and you design and, and do everything that you need to. You don't necessarily, you know what I'm saying? And you buy the Atom Pad as, as an addition or uh, some, you know, make your setup pretty sweet. Now, when we talk about integration, yeah, this is definitely a very tight integration with Studio One. All of the buttons and pads are accounted for on here. Absolutely remarkable. It, yeah, great job, Personas. But, well, uh, you know, they want all of this integration thing. We're just gonna just design our own Atom pad and give them this, and they should be happy, you know. You know, they, they'll be fine. They go, uh, they, they probably be sitting at their desk in their ties, and it was like, hmm, you seen that video? That guy complaining about integration? Yeah, I don't think he knows what he want. Let's give him something better. Bam, the Atom Pad. A lot of people like it, they dig it, it's great. You know what I'm saying? It complements Studio One and where they're going. Like when they did Impact, the drum sampler inside of Studio One and Presence, which is another one. That's that's great. I like to see them update the equalizers and compressors and the plugins we use, but that's a whole nother video. But for us that use native instrument software, you know, the 
we use contact the instruments in there like i i'm fully blown out i use all of their sounds and it, it's totally it's totally better guys when i can just switch between use a machine blah 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 and have the you know it's like all this integration between everything but studio one but we have it now so Yes. Yes. yes, just right out of the box. Any keyboard, any MIDI keyboard can talk to your DAW with no problem. That's that's not an issue. You creating chords and using the pitch bin and modular wheels and, and even being able to go up an octave, down an octave, whatever, all those buttons was on your keyboard, right? And then there was a lot of keyboards that had faders and knobs. And MIDI protocol, it was just basic MIDI stuff. But this is like new next level stuff, the way that they built it. And um, because of that, it's hard to get the navigator functions here with the play, stop, loop, that type of thing to work. Well, this type of keyboard, you know, can't speak for others, but this keyboard, that, that wasn't happening, you know what I mean? Because they have their own thing and it's, it's specific to native instrument stuff. Anyway, they got it to work with third-party dolls, but just not for Sonus. Studio One was not on that list and there was, it, it was just impossible. So in Studio One 4.5.3, we now finally have DAW integration between Complete Control and Studio One. Now, just before I show you guys how all of this work, I, I wanted to address the machine. Now, the machine is not really a part of the list. The, the machine is, that doesn't have that DAW integration protocol. And so, uh, and a lot of you guys thinking like integration and, and, and you automatically thinking the MK3 must be a part of that. I don't think the MK3 was designed to do that. However, you are able to do that because remember, we always had the ability to switch back and forth between the software or the plugin mode and then go to MIDI mode. And I've done a video on that. But for right now, I'm gonna show you guys how all this works. We're gonna go to the computer here. So basically what you will need to do is first go to your preference area and then visit the external devices tab. And this is where all your MIDI devices live. And so you just hit add and then you go to native instruments folder here. And look, we have additional inserts here that wasn't there before. Now you guys are familiar with the machine control that has always been there. I don't believe there's any updates to this because the picture still, the picture remains the same, it looks the same, which is, you know, you guys know, that's the uh, MK2 right here. And, but these other additions are pretty cool. Like, I am happy to see the logo of Native Instruments a part of this list. This is amazing. So this is what, 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 what we'll need to do. You just make sure you just go here and, and then you go to receive. And as you can see, complete control doll. You understand what I'm saying? The keyboard was designed to 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 have that integration between your your doll, and so th this is what you need to select. I'm not going to select it because I already have everything set up, and then you need to go and do the same thing. So, like for what I have, let's cancel out of this um, right here. This is what I have, and I have them both for receive from and send to. You know, I I don't know if that really makes a huge difference but that's just what i did and everything works perfectly so we're going to leave it just like that and of course when just getting the, the complete control to just work as a keyboard we always had to go here remember we had to go to i think it's new keyboard and then select the port um complete control port and all of that all that jazz that's what we had to do before but now we have is specific to this this keyboard which is absolutely amazing and it's it's pretty much the same thing the same as setting up a, a generic new uh, keyboard or whatever device and then you just make sure you select the uh port one for receive from and then send to port one make sure that you don't have any of this checked in the only thing that should be checked is the channels the mini channels you want all of those checked right and you're all set you're good to go. Now let's uh, show you what's going on. Um, excuse the mess. I'll be working. So basically, uh, the the play stop, the, the the play record stop, the loop, the metro. Yeah, like um, I guess you can if you can hear like the background me clicking on the board. Like all of that works. So I hit play, I'm trying to zoom out so y'all can see. 
I need to focus in a little bit more. Yeah, if you can see the numbers like counting up, and I'm trying, I'm trying to try my best to show you guys like what's going on. So I hit stop. Here's record. So now it's recording. And then toggle the record off and stop recording, but it's still playing, which is really cool. And so th this is the, the, the part right here that I found that was pretty awesome. So like, if I was to take a knob here, and I noticed like the difference between the other MIDI controllers, wherever the MIDI setting, the, the, the faders or knobs, or whatever it's set at, in Studio One, it would jump to match what it is on the board. Here is just, everything is smooth. Everything talks just like it's supposed to. Now, here's the thing, like if you are like going between like machine, like if you if you click on a, a, a track that has machine on it, then things get a little weird. So like if I pull that up and it's still sync with Studio One, but once I start, like, uh, like if I need to do anything in Machine, if I need to hit plug in, it automatically goes to plug in. Let me focus in, like it's supposed to, right? So we in plug in mode. Those are the you know parameters for plug ins, and, and I can do whatever I need to. Say for instance, so I need to solo something, mute something. You know, everything works as normal. But if I need to go, if I need to come back out and do like, like adjustments to any other other tracks, this is the part that gets a little, a little crazy. So if you hit mixer, this is going to be the mixer inside of machine. So what you have to do is, um, I don't know if this is a bug or if this is what's, what you have to do, but you got to do a series of things here. Like if I click here on that, on that, like that's, that's just an audio or whatever. It doesn't automatically recognize that this track or this channel is not associated with machine. So what I had to do is hit MIDI, and it, it, it's like it's, it's like a reset button. And then when I hit uh, mixer here, then it goes back and it talks to Studio One. If that's the case, I am happy. I am not complaining. If that's the bug, then obviously they'll fix that. Maybe it's supposed to work faster than that. Maybe maybe when you click on each individual channel, it, it's supposed to be able to identify if it's a machine or not. You know what I mean? But however, I'm cool with it. I, I have no complaints. If that's what I got to do, I'm, gr I'm grateful. <laughs> hey guys, don't forget the fight. Don't forget the fight. Don't forget how long it took them to, to, for us to get to this point. So I'm grateful. Um, and and it, as usual, like if I need to mute a track, you just hit mute. And then as you can see, it, you know, I can't work as fast as I want to. Or, or if I need to hit solo, you just hit solo first and then solo, whatever. And then, of course, if you got more than eight tracks across here, you know, you can only see eight, but you know, it's just a matter of like toggling, going back and forth. And you can see your different settings. You know what I mean? It's just like any other digital board that only have a certain amount of faders designated and you have to actually bank over it to get to the other channels, obviously. So yeah, everything works perfectly. I, I love it. I, yeah. This is great. Yes, indeed. I am aware of the update. Absolutely. I know it was several of you guys that kind of hit me up. And it's interesting how you guys went to like several of my videos and post on them. Hey, Ella, you know about the update? They actually did it for us. Um, yeah, man. And it's, and it's like, wow, that's, that's pretty cool. <laughs> you guys know me as the guy that fight for the integration between this board <laughs> and Studio One. You know me, I'm all about workflow. Like, I'm never trying to do anything that takes me longer to do something. It, it was like, man, like, I mean, Native Instruments came out with this, this nice board here. This, man, remarkable integration technology 
why can't I take advantage of this too? I, I, I like to be able to hit record on my keyboard. You know, I think, hey, you know, and I'm not just saying that. Some of you guys, I know you get me. It is definitely important that your hardware syncs with your software. It just make the workflow a whole lot seamless. Definitely want to make sure that you're updated in the firmware for your controller here. And of course, obviously be updated in Studio One. You have to have 4.5.3 for this integration to work. Major ups to Native Instruments for releasing this ability to do so. Obviously that update or whatever Native Instruments did was the ability to allow personas to do what they do and here we go. There wasn't many things that I was complaining about. It was only just a few, like integration was one and then the MIDI, like how, how MIDI is being inserted in your program. I've always had issues with getting things a lot the way I play it or perform it inside a studio one when I re record. That was always the issue. I I think they're trying to make improvements, but it's still not there. But, you know, it's like I'm dealing with it. I'm dealing with it. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys. I'm Ella from Creative Sound. Remember, music is art. You're the artist. Paint your picture. Stay creative without rules.